friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I count macros in calories. Happy Monday, happy day after Christmas, happy meal prep day. I have three simple recipes but packed with protein to finish 2022 out strong. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because we do a meal prep every Monday and I upload five videos per week. Don't forget my recipe website will be linked down in the description box where you will find all of today's recipes. Nutrition coaching for personalized macros and calories. Cannot recommend this enough. Get your macros and calories done so you're ready to hit your 2023 goals. And I have one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Come join us there. We'd love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's jump in to meal prep. For breakfast this week, I'm making sugar cookie overnight oats. I am really excited for these. They are packed with protein and they're giving me all the holiday New Year's vibes. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need vanilla extract, sugar alternative of your choice. As always, I'm using Lakanto granulated. It is my all time favorite. For me, it tastes the most like sugar, doesn't cause any digestive upset. Really, really delicious. I will link Lakanto down below for you with 15% off site wide. You're going to need rolled oats, non fat Greek yogurt, vanilla protein powder. This is a new one to my life. I actually haven't even opened it yet. I picked this up because, as I mentioned in my goals video, I'm really cleaning up my diet in 2023, and that includes choosing really high quality ingredient foods, including protein powder. So, this is from the brand Ascent, which I love. I've always loved Ascent protein, but this is their micellar casein protein. It's a little bit slower digesting for sustainable recovery. I have vanilla bean, 25 grams of protein, really, really, really clean ingredients. I'm going to utilize this a lot post-workout as well, but I thought I would try it out in these overnight oats. I did buy it on Amazon super affordable for how high quality it is, so I'll link it down below for you. You're also going to need salt, almond extract, and then some mason jars. I'm going to make three days worth of overnight oats. I also forgot to mention that you'll need some milk of your choice. I'm going to use the low fat fair life just for that extra punch of protein. To put together our overnight oats, we're going to add one half of a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt and two tablespoons of whatever protein powder you're using. And then whisk that together until combined. We're then going to add in half of a cup of rolled oats, a splash of vanilla extract, and a splash of almond extract, two teaspoons of Lakanto Golden, a pinch of salt. Pop your lid on that and shake it up really well. Here's what the sugar cookie overnight oats look like. Let's put together the other two jars. So here is the sugar cookie overnight oats. I did For lunch this week, I'm making barbecue pineapple chicken. This is a super 
super, super simple recipe, exactly what we need after the holidays, not to mention it is packed with protein. So let me show you what you'll need for the barbecue pineapple chicken. First, you're going to need chicken breasts, salt and pepper. I will link my gravity fed salt and pepper grinders down below. You know how much we love these. You'll need some no sugar added barbecue sauce and a can of pineapple. You could do chunks, tidbits, crushed, whatever your preference. Go ahead and spray your baking dish with some nonstick cooking spray. And then we're going to put our chicken right into the bottom. We're going to add about a third of a cup of our no sugar added barbecue sauce right on top of our chicken. Go ahead and spread that out over the top. And we're going to take our can of pineapple drained and add that right on top. And then drizzle the other third of a cup or so of barbecue sauce right on top. We're going to cover this with some saran wrap, throw it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. You can actually leave it in the fridge for up to about two hours. Our chicken is going into a 400 degree oven for about 40 minutes or until the chicken is cooked through. All right, barbecue pineapple chicken is out of the oven. It smells so good. I am so excited for this all week. I cut mine into about six pieces so I can have this for lunch each day. I'll pair it with some carbo. I'll pair it with some type of healthy carb, maybe some fruit, some veggies. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you, but such an easy protein packed lunch. For a sweet treat this week, I'm making pecan pie bars. These would be a perfect thing to bring to a new year's party and they're just a really good sweet treat for the week. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need some corn syrup. If you can pick up the dark corn syrup, that's even better. Light butter, four eggs, all purpose flour. Again, sweetener alternatives. I have Lakanto granulated and Lakanto golden. Don't forget Lakanto is linked down below with 15% off site wide. Some salt, vanilla extract, and of course some pecans. So we're going to add one and three quarter cup all purpose flour to a medium bowl, as well as half of a cup of Lakanto. Mix that together. And then I have three quarters cup cold butter. So we're going to just dice that into the flour, chop it in there to make the mixture for the crust. You want your mixture to be a little bit on the chunky side. We're going to spray a nine by 13 baking dish with some nonstick cooking spray. And then we're taking that flour mixture, putting it into the baking dish, and then pressing it into place, forming a crust. Because I'm using an aluminum pan, this is going into a 325 degree oven for about 20 minutes. We want the crust to be browned. And while it's in the oven, we'll prepare the filling. For the filling, I'm adding 2 thirds cup of Lakanto Golden, and then one third cup of all purpose flour. Make sure you mix those very well until they're fully combined. And we're going to add our four eggs. Give that a quick mix. We're adding in about a tablespoon of vanilla extract, salt, and the one cup of corn syrup. And then we want to stir that until fully combined. You're going to let this mixture stand for about 15 minutes while the crust finishes cooking. We're going to go ahead and add in our chopped pecans and then give it another stir. The crust is out of the oven. We're going to immediately add the pecan pie mixture to the top. Spread that out nice and evenly. And our bars are going back into the oven for about another 20 to 25 minutes or until the filling is cooked through. These absolutely gorgeous pecan pie bars are out of the oven. Again, these smell incredible. I mean, like a bakery in here. I'm really excited for these. The pan makes 24 bars, so you're getting a pretty good size bar. And compared to the points and calories in pecan pie, you can't beat it with these bars. So I'll put everything here on the screen for you. And don't forget all of my recipes are on my website, which is linked in the description box. Thank you for joining me for this week's simple yet packed with protein meal prep. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a big, huge thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And don't forget to subscribe and turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. 
Recipes are on my website, which is linked down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you for watching, friends. Happy Monday, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.